Skinner, he comes to you. Questions on your garden, he will answer true. Control your piss compost properly to hear your soil and make you laugh too. So don't panic. Oh, it's organic. No chemicals to make the earth sick. I don't panic. Oh, it's organic. The way that nature intended it. It fires you on your ticks, white flies and fleas. Help to diagnose what's wrong with roses or trees. That nothing an alternative way to the disease. That's the whole planet. It will be. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. What's this like? Still early. This one over here, it's in a powder form. They're all in powder form. This is made from soybeans. Oh, what do you know? Huh? Oh, it's so light. Yeah, it's made from soybeans, one teaspoon per gallon. That's oh, a okay. very high in nitrogen, 1322. Started in the sixth grade. I really did. <laughs> in the sixth grade, I started doing ant treatments for people. Ant treatments? Ant treatments. Yeah, what about your ant treatments? Because I wrote, I read a book called "Do Ants Sleep." Do <laughs> I wrote an article. I wrote an article about it. And I started doing. I, I went to the principal and I said I want to do a raised, a raised bed vegetable garden instead of phys ed. I said you can't do that. What year was that? Fifty-six, something like that. And so we had the I, and the raised beds was cool. We had lots of vegetables, all organic stuff coming out. And I had beer, you know, I had the, the whisk, they had the uh, vinegar, little vinegar for the snails. Then, of course, the ants came. There was a million ants everywhere. And they said, this corner is safe because that's the only place they weren't spraying. So I said, okay, what do I do with ants? So I read the book, Do Ants Sleep? And try to figure out, you know, ants are a totally female-run organization. You know that, right? They're all ladies. Even though the, the ants with the big claws, they're ladies, you know. That first year in the sixth grade, People say, can you come and do my yard? Come and do, that was the best advertising ever done. Do vegetable garden for the school. I had like 150 customers by the ninth grade. I had a whole cul-de-sac. You know what that is? It's like a whole, it's a dead end street. So I had that one guy. And the neighbor says, the neighbor said, before I had all, I had, I had at least 20 of them or 30 of them in that one little corner. When I went to the 10th grade, which was a different school, you know, it's like junior high school and then high school. I had to go through the whole thing again. Andy does not do phys ed. <laughs> he does home ed and he does this. And I had to go to four schools before one of them said, okay, this is the one, you can come in this way. So by the time I was in the 12th grade, I had the whole place landscaped with a whole bunch of edibles. I had a vegetable garden going and flowers and, uh, and other schools would say, Andy, you need to come over and help us get the garden. I still call it schools now. I go to to all different kinds of devils of schools, you know, and talk to the kids. We take the teachers out. Okay, parents and teachers, out. Just talk on the kids. And we talk about things you would not believe. We talk about the speed of light, how fast is the speed of light. We talk about energy, we talk about pollution problems. Kids are really smart, because I was smart. I took an IQ test in the sixth grade, and I turned around and made my own IQ test for them, and they, they failed it. And I had like over 200 or something IQ, I don't know. The guy says, you're out of there. Yeah, I'm out of there. I'm out. Uh, so I'm never used to chemicals. Never used to. Everything's a chemical, but you know what I mean, natural chemicals. I got this guy called me up the other day. He says, Andy, you're fooling people. He says, he says don't panic. It's organic. I have an organic gun. I use malathion. I use DDT. They're organic. Because they're organic compounds. He's a chemist. Organic compound. It should have been called natural garden rather than organic garden. I didn't start it. Make the earth sick.